Hi everyone, this is Mr. Mailer. This is Dr. Mailer. We're taking a quick overview of chapter one called Renaissance Men. And uh, the author, John Gribben, makes an interesting point. He said, look, if you lived for 500 years, 700 uh, in the common era to maybe 1,200 in the common era, you've lived for 500 years, you wouldn't see much change because it was the Dark Ages. But if you had lived starting in 1500 and going to 2000 in the common era, the amount of change you would see was just incredible. And that's what the author means by the adventure of, that we have with science. So let's take a look at some of the personalities involved. Of course, we start with Copernicus. Copernicus was a philosopher, a theoretician, an astronomer. And it was Copernicus who said that it's not the Earth that's the center of the universe. In fact, let's take a look at this next one. Before Copernicus, Ptolemy's model was used for explaining what we saw in the sky. And it was called a Earth-centered or a geocentered model. The Earth was at the center, as this diagram shows you. The moon went around the Earth. But somewhere out there, uh, close to the Earth, was Mercury, Venus, and the Sun also went around the Earth. Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and then even beyond that, there was something called the sphere of stars. Now, it was obvious that the planets moved among the stars, but the stars didn't move. That was, that was a problem. Let's take a look. That problem, uh, as the book goes on, talks about a father and son. Uh, they weren't really a team, but the father was Leonard Diggs. And uh, this British person... Duh, 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 Let's go take a look at what his son did. And um, another interesting personality was Giordano Bruno. Now, Giordano Bruno, it had, there's sort of a myth that's grown up around him that he was killed because he would not recant the Copernicum system. Uh, and uh, one of the things the book does nicely is to show you that this was really a little more subtle. And that's one of the things that you should read up and know about Giordano Bruno. Copernicus's book is referred to as De Revolution. Let me just see if I can show you that. Well, I'll show you the whoops. Let's go back. One of the things that the revolution, uh, Vesalius was a surgeon, a dictator, uh, not a dictator, a surgeon, dissector, and grave robber. Uh, here are some pictures of some of his instruments and some of the pictures of um, after he got a, a, this is also, okay, L name of his book, William Harvey, one of the interesting things that Harvey did. Okay, we'll stop. Command ship. 